Okay, so let's learn about hyperbolas. So what I've set up here is this is our most basic hyperbola. And if you can see it, this is an a, um, a over x, and I've set a to 1, so that's 1 over x. So if we think about it, if that's 1 over x, so when x is 1, so if I put a 1 there and that's a 1, 1 over 1 is 1. And so look at that magic. If I put my x is 2, that's going to be 1 over 2. So when x is 2, that's a half. If you think about it, there's 1, there's a half. And if I put x is 4, then obviously that's going to be a quarter, x is 6. If I keep going and going and going, okay, if I, if I zoom, 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 and I've got it way up to 100, where are we? There's 100. What's it going to be? What's my y value? So if I click on here, whoops, there we go, where's 100? There's 100, it's going to be 1 hundredth, which is 0 0.01. So obviously this graph, go back, 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 back. It looks like it's on the graph, but that's only because, there we go. Okay, so this is going to go down and down and down, but I can't have a zero under here. So 1 over 0 is undefined. So this line and this graph will never, ever get to this zero. Okay, so the bigger this value is, so as x goes a thousand, that's going to be a thousandth, so a millionth and everything. So this y value is just going to go that way and never ever touch. So it's going to get close to zero, your y value is going to get close to zero as x goes to infinity, um, but never touch. And now if we think about as x goes closer and closer to zero. So if this is x is a half, y is going to be two. x is a quarter, y is going to be four. So we can do the same thing. If x is 10, uh, if um, x is one tenth, which is point zero, oops, there we go. So if x is point one, then my y value is going to be 10. So I can keep following that up and up and up. So as x gets closer and closer and closer to zero, that's going to go, the y value is going to go close to infinity. But it can't touch, it can't get to zero because we can't have a zero under there. So it's really an interesting graph and that's what we call a hyperbola. And we can have the same down here, but look at our negative value. So if I put in x as negative one, then y is going to be negative 1. Okay. Uh, if I put in x as negative 2, then that's going to be a half. Negative 4 is going to be negative a quarter. Um, if I put in x as negative a half, it's going to go to 2. So we get it symmetric, uh, like a mirror image across this line here. So that's our basic hyperbola. Now, if I've got this here with our k on the end, what do you think k does to it? Well, we know our par parabola, that lifts it up or down. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to click on this one. Okay, so you can see that graph went from blue to orange. And I'm going to move this up. And look, there we go. So if we've got this going up and down, we'll just move that whole parabola up and down. Now this line here, if I go back to where it was on zero, we call this line here that it doesn't touch as a asymptote. We call it an asymptote there. So we have this as an asymptote. So that was our black one there. This was our green one. Okay, if I close that, close that. I've only got these ones visible. So if I move my k value up, that whole graph just goes up and down. So you can see that, that's what your k value does. And so that, when it was on 0, our asymptote was 0. If I put it up to 1, our asymptote goes to 1. And if you think about it, everything has just moved up. So 
if I think about this, when my x was 1, it used to be 1, 1. Now it's gone up to 2. When my x was a half, it used to be 2. So now I'm going up to 3. So everything's just moved up. So that goes now if I turn just this graph on here. Oops. Where are we? I'll put k back to 0. Okay, so we've got our, this is our original, our original graph of 1 over x because I've got k is 0 and h is 0. So now I'm going to move this. So same as what we were doing with the parabola. If I move that, it just moves it one side or the other. So that was original when h equals 0, when it's equals negative, when it, h equals 1 which is x minus 1, which is one unit to the right. Everything just moves to the right. Move that over to 2. Everything just moves over. And this is our asymptote as well. If you think about that, x can't equal 2. So if h is 2 there, I don't want a 0 underneath. So I can't have 2 take away 2 would be 0. So that's why it's an asymptote because we can't have that equaling to zero. Um, so basically we've got our graphs and obviously we can combine all of these and we can move them up and down and sideways, but I've just got it at these at the moment. So you can see if I change it to a negative, my A to a negative, it flips over. So if I just go back to our original graph, turn them off, put that back to zero. Okay, so if we just look at our original graph and I put this, turn this on, you can see our negative values go that way, it comes in and then our positive values are there. So our positive values this side now negative values are that side. When what do you think it's going to be when a equals zero? If I go to here, we've got no graph because it's just f of x equals zero. So or y equals zero. So we can't have that will be just this line here. So there you go. We've got that. With that moving up and down, we've got our negative there. Okay, so I'll flip to this graph, I'll turn that one off, I'll put that back to 1, oops, put, perhaps I could just type it in, couldn't I? So let's get our k value going, you can see that's going just up and down, okay, nothing spectacular there. Back to zero, and then obviously, if I click on click move that one there, click on this one, you can see it just moves the whole graph sideways. And as I bring that back, it's just going to go on top. Okay, so hopefully, that has given you a little bit of an idea of how the transformations of a parabola work. So, think about the same style as a parabola. This one's moving it up and down. Okay, so down, oops, put it on visible. There we go. It's just moving it up and down. And obviously our H moves it sideways. So there you go. And just to end it, how about I press that for play, that for play, and that for play. There we go, we've got hyperbolas dancing. Okay, cheers everyone. Hope that uh, helps.